What's up, guys? It is 2.24 p.m. It's Thursday, April 27th, and this is the crypto market update. So we're going to dive right into the, the bond yields over here. And I'm seeing the same pattern. It's been the same thing for since October uh, 2022. And I'll even show you as far as the fractal patterns playing out exactly the same. Uh, let's grab the bars pattern. You know, you grab this, bring it over, and then, you know, you can match it up. So this played out bigger. This is a little smaller. So you shrink it down. So it's like same patterns just playing out over and over. And then this one's playing out a little bigger. Uh, so you can kind of uh, you know, grab it like this and either, you know, we pull back down. Maybe it's actually more resembling this one. So let me grab that and then we can delete this and you can just see how time and time again, look at that. Gee, same pattern, same thing. So if I was watching this, I'd be looking for, yeah, the bond yields are probably going to go up short term into, you know, into May, but we got to watch that 786. So the high to the low, we got to get rejected at 3.9%, 3.9%. And if we get rejected even on, on, let's talk about a micro time frame. This is like a bigger uh, macro trend. So on the micro, we got this high down to this low. We want to get rejected at 3.585%. And then ultimately, if you want to see downside, we want to see us break below 3.335%. That's the bond yields. So let's go to the dollar. Dollar right now, it keeps flirting with this, this very, very macro trend line support. I mean, horizontal support. So we go back out here, you see how, and I'll kind of add another one here too. It's like his own of rejection, rejection, got above support. Uh, rejection we when we when we get above this horizontal line it's about like at the 100 mark when we get above and then break back down below like we got above here and then break back down below huge bitcoin bull market and crypto bull market when we get above come back below huge crypto bull market see how these times were just a little bit a little bit higher and this one is a behemoth that went so much higher than the past times that's why I'm saying that we're heading into a hyper boom in crypto because when we break down below this and we're just right there, you know, we keep getting kind of supported by it. But the day that we break down below, bet that there will be a catalyst or an announcement or a news or an event to go hand in hand with us breaking this level because of how massive it is. Uh, so since, you know, every single time we just look when we pop up and come back down, huge crypto bull market pop up come back down huge crypto bull market since this popped up massively i think this is going to be the biggest crypto bull run ever as far as we're gonna snap back to reality and come back lower than these times because these were you know same kind of level up here same level down to same level same level but we went up way higher than these past times so i think we're going to come way lower than those last times so even at press time Getting down to where I think, you know, we got another 15, 20% even uh, downside for the dollar. That's that's a crypto hyper hyper uh, bull market, if you ask me. And we're, we could, it could happen any moment. We're right at the level. Maybe we pop back up one more time, then curl back over uh, at the tail end of this year. Um, and then ultimately the hyper drive bull run kicks in. But uh, it could virtually, we're just waiting for the announcement, the news, the event, or whatever, the excuse, let's just say, to... to to back up the the technical of breaking down. Cause once we break down, a lot of things are gonna snap up, like crypto, maybe even gold, silver, uh, some other things. So there needs to be, oh, why is Bitcoin going up so much? Uh, well, it's not gonna be because the dollar is going down, it's gonna be because something happened in the real world that ultimately affected the dollar going down, but there's gotta be like a reason. There's always gotta be a reason. So that's what I'm watching for there. So I think, you know, once we break that level, it's on. Right now, we're just kind of deciding what we're going to do. For the stock market, so the US NAS 100, if I go to a one day chart and we just grab that micro pattern right here from the high down to this low, we're at the 786 right now. So if we break above that, we could head up to 13,570. And then if we scale all the way out and grab our pass high down to our low. <clears throat> So we, we've maintained above the 786 of this, and we've just kind of consolidated um, above it. And right now being at the 786 right here, um, ready to break out higher, we could very well be going up to 13,570 to 13,700. 
which ultimately now if we grab this last high down to the low would bring us up bam to the 2618 extension which is in line with the 786 so this bigger move which would be around 14,100 so that's going to be getting above 14,000 holding as support for 14,100 holding as support is going to be uh, a big big milestone as far as we can even look at now and make the the chart naked as far as the indicators and you can see how massive that level is as far as, all right, we came up to it, rejection, rejection, we got above. Then when we got below it, that was our big kind of slam down. So if we get back above and maintain as support, then uh, we were in a good good place because the two week TSI will cross up to the zero line. We got the MACD rising. Man, it's crazy how this year has panned out so far. A lot of people said, I remember back in December, a lot of people were saying, oh, we're going to see 50% down in January. I feel like we're maybe the one of the only couple of people out here saying nah cryptos are gonna run in 2023 and that's all we've seen it's all we've seen so um, we're gonna stick to the course on that and not change up our, our position until the facts change up so right now so far so good bitcoin okay so last night in the group session first off super fun great time with everybody um, we're gonna do another ama tonight so definitely um, join the discord the link will be in the bio that's free for everybody, free for everybody, for uh, VIP members, for people who are not yet on VIP with Stargate, because uh, May 1st, we're blacking out. We're not posting anything public because we're going back in house. We're going inside the gate and we're buckling down because of the market and because we're developing a whole bunch of new things uh, as far as uh, Stargate services, products go. And we're going to be ready to come out the gate with, with some big surprises, that's for sure. And when that will happen, we don't know. So if you want to get in, inside the gate before we close down, now's the time to do it because May 1st, we're shutting it down. But we we're talking about VLO. So we came out VLO. We nailed the bottom of VLO back. I think it was January or February. We crushed it. I mean, that was our like our number one slammer. Um, we were calling it out before every, every other person was saying it. And then everybody hopped on the wave and we saw it go from like, let's see. We saw it pull, it was like a six X, a six and a half X. Um, and then we've kind of just been, you know, we pull back down. Also too, if you look at the Stargate signals with it. Uh, wow, nailed the top here with the 12 hour sell now. Um, if we go back to 11 hour, it nailed it. Uh, nine hour, it probably nailed the, the bottom right before we went up. Yeah, so like the Stargate signals ultimately, if you know how to use them right, which we provide the, the templates and the checklist and all that good stuff uh, for you to know how to use them right. And what we're gonna be working on uh, May is automating the use of it to make it easier for everybody. Uh, but if you know how to use it right, it absolutely crushes it. I mean, selling at the top here on the 12 hour sell now and getting ready for the incoming 12 hour blue buy beam. I mean, we're down 73%, 73% in a matter of two months. So, in the Discord, I got the VLO on signals flashing through now and all the other signals. I added Pepe as well, too. I got to show you the Pepe chart because it's hitting that 786. So we got the VLO ones flashing. I told everybody, watch out for that 12 hour buy now because when that comes in, it's go time. So it's time to start talking about VLO again and getting in on that. I'm not sure what everybody else is saying about VLO. Maybe they kind of faded off from talking about it, but I'm sure we're, we'll hear everybody talking about VLO again in the next couple of weeks. But you know where you heard it first. Uh, as soon as we see that 12 hour buy now come in, it's game on. And I was looking at it. I was I was just looking at the, the chart of it naked. I was like, man, this looks so similar to uh, patterns I'd just seen for the past seven years now, just staring at the charts every day. So now I'm able like to kind of be like, oh, see something and then be like, oh, that looks like Bitcoin when it was in its uh, bear market of 2018. So then I pull it up and I'm like, man, it's like to a T. So I'm going to hide the signals. And you can see how it's just descending triangle. So you got your, your lower highs, your equal support, making a descending triangle. You break down hard from it. And right here, you got your lower highs, your, your equal supports, you break down hard from it. And then ultimately after falling, let's see, this was, I mean, go up a little bit more. So around 43%, we, we came down so far on that 
that fall. And then this one went down about 48%. So we're in the vicinity of where we should, our bottom should be in. Maybe we kind of, kind of go up, down, curl around for a little bit until the middle of May, until we ultimately come back up. And it's going to be a big move. I think this is a good pair to pair swap that will play out in May. So um, we'll be, even though we're not posting publicly on socials, we'll be posting in the discord um, to our people inside the gate and giving out trade calls like the pair to pair. It's going to be a great pair to pair swap. I can see it now. Ultimately, if we kind of now look at what happened with Bitcoin back then with the fractal and we can match it up to what's happening with Velo currently, um, what we'll probably see is something like this. Like, look at that. Like, come on. That's like spot on. So what we'll see is you will come up back up to here. If we're going to, you know, on a retrace bounce at the very least, we take the high down to the low. Where does that bring us? Bang, 786. You know, it makes sense. Follows the fractal, follows what would happen with the fibs. And uh, that gain would be at current prices about 200%. 200% would probably happen by the end of May. Yep, end of May. So we'll be watching that, but you know, giving out as much as I can as far as tidbits before we shut it down for a month. But yeah, I found that to be interesting. If you find that to be interesting too, and just how these patterns just repeat themselves over and over again, uh, they're the same thing. I'm looking at Bitcoin comparing it to Velo. It's like toe for toe. Uh, so we can kind of gauge what will happen in the future. I'm watching that heavy. Uh, also, probably if I take this low to the high up here, we're getting very close to touching that 786 uh, to, on the retrace in general. So a great buying opportunity on Velo would be like 0 0.003341 if we came down to that. But I mean, we're closer to the bottom uh, right now. So it's like kind of what, trying to nail that that level. That's only about a 10% fall from here versus the 200% gain. The risk to reward is, uh, you know, is solid right now, just getting in. I already still hold Velo. Uh, it's not financial advice, not a financial advisor, but it's what I'm eyeing out. And I'm probably going to plot a, a pair to pair swap XLM to Velo since they're in the same ecosystem. And that will probably happen in May. So, Stargators, the ones that are inside the gate, keep it on the radar because that will be a great way to grow our XLM bags in the month of May. So, that's good. Let's go to oh, also another thing I'm watching with Velo is this trend line of support, support, support. I'm sure like these patterns, like right here, are the same. You stretch it out a little bit, right? Kind of same action that we see going on. You know, and then we go up and then this one's probably bigger. Now we stretch it all the way out and we're seeing like the same type of action of, it's never gonna match exact, but if you can nail down what it, what it does as far as, you know, we have our uptrend, our uptrend, we come back down, come back down, we go uh, sideways and which would be like sideways because this is bigger. And then we have our ultimate, like our bottom here, which I would say is, would be our bottom here. And then the, the rebound to then consolidate and then we go, right? So that's what I'm watching as far as that goes. Velo, definitely on the radar. Casper, one thing we were watching about with Casper, we talked about in the group session last night is uh, we're comparing it to kind of, I think if I go to the daily chart back here, I want to get big on Casper, but I don't want to get caught on the wrong side of the trade. So the sell now, so you're able to analyze the signals with the fractal patterns and kind of match them up, see if they make sense. What I'm seeing is something similar to this right here, where, you know, the sell now came in at the exact same level, we popped up and then ultimately we rolled back over and did something like this. So I don't want to buy a caster up here if I can get it down here. Uh, so where did we kind of find our rejection at? Uh, close to that 786, where are we at right now? We already tapped the 786 yesterday, but right now we hit that 702 and we're curling over. So unless we break above the 786, I'm not FOMOing in. If we do break above and we start seeing the momentum kick up, I'll probably FOMO in. But right now I'm staying the course and watching this fractal play out because I'd rather get it at, you know, 0.034 rather than 0.054. So we're going to have to keep watching it close. This is the week to watch Casper as far as if you hold Casper and it's going to go down like this, it'll be a good coin to take and utilize for a pair to pair swap. You'll probably make a killing on it. But if we start breaking up about the 786, hunker down, hold Casper. 
Um, and then maybe even convert something that might be that another coin that you hold, pull up the Casper screener and see if there's a, you can kind of add on to Casper if we start breaking the 786, cause I'm sure it would have a 50% to hundred percent move in it. If we do break that 786 and go up, that's Casper AVAX. So I want to, I'm covering different coins today because of what I'm going to share about with the news, but AVAX is going to be up there with Ethereum for sure. Ethereum, Solana, AVAX, they're going to all go to, toe to toe. What happened yesterday was Circle announced like this big, big new product develop uh, product. It's like interoperability of like a US, an open dollar, an open digital dollar. And the added support of like, br- it's like they initially did a bridge between like Ethereum and Avalanche starting off. So Ethereum and Avalanche, you know, Avalanche is going to be here for a long time. They they're partnered up with like uh, Amazon. Uh, also, they, they launched a bunch of new kind of products and services tailored to uh, enterprises. So Avalanche, I'm thinking about adding a, a good amount into it. And uh, that's why I want to cover it today because right now what I'm seeing is we go to the 12 hour chart. We have a 12 hour prepare to buy soon. If we get that 12 hour buy now, I'll likely uh, you know take a, a bigger stab at Avalanche. Uh, what we did was we had our buy now back here. We went up, got our sell. Right now we have the warning. And if we break above the 786, of this low, this is so micro, but um, you know, the micro makes up the medium, makes up the macro. So you can get ahead of the trend. A uh, high to the low, 786, if you break up, we'll likely go to $19.60, which is close probably to the 786 of this high down to the low. Yeah, very close. Um, so I would say breaking above $21 will get us up to likely 25 even I could go out to 30, 35 bucks. So like big moves out of Avalanche, if we break above that $21 level and we're only at 18 bucks, that's about like, you know, 10, 15% away. And with all the news and kind of potential news that can come out with Avalanche, as far as Amazon marketplace, we can't forget about that. The NFT marketplace, it's supposed to launch in April. They only got a couple of days left to make that announcement, but uh, we haven't heard anything yet, but Avalanche being partnered up with Amazon, you know, I'm sure there could be uh, news upon with Avalanche and Amazon that could kind of give this some gas as well too. And then with the Circle announcement as well, that was big. Pepe, Pepe. So right here, we got a three hour buy now on Pepe. Now that we have more data for it, now we have signals coming in. If you take this low to the high here, what do we got? 786 tapped. The 786 was tapped. We got the buy now. You got a trend line coming down like this bang like that. So if we pull back down and we find support back on like the, I don't even know how many decimals that is, but if we find support right here, probably a good level to, to add on to Pepe. Or if you didn't get any Pepe, get some Pepe. But I seen what happened with Doge. I seen what happened with SHIB. And I have a feeling about Pepe. And I just put 500, you know, a thousand dollars in it, let it sit, come back in the middle of the bull run. I'm not worried about the day-to-day action on it. Although the volatility does provide opportunities. So definitely a Pepe, if you didn't get any yet, just get a little bit, just sit on it. ARB. So ARB, we called that a uh, free trade call to a T when it was touching the 786 here at like $1.30. Right now it's at $1.45. Uh, it's up about 11%. And if we take this high down to this low for the 786, if it breaks above $1.47. Yeah, we're likely going to come up to $1.62. And from the initial trade call at $1.30 up to $1.62, that's about a 25% gain real quick. Uh, so ARB is definitely one that holding long term, I think it's got some legs as far as being uh, part of the Ethereum ecosystem, being new, being um, a new coin on the block per se. And yeah, I think it's going to perform very well in the uh, the bull market when it's in full fledged. So, and it's at like a couple, a dollar and 50 cents. It's like, it reminds me of Solana when it came out. Uh, and then later that year is at like 200, 300 bucks. So I'm taking a stab at ARB. Well, we already did on that trade call, but we were buying it back here when it first initially launched. So yeah, so that's what I'm eyeing. Some good trades out there, some good movement. Let's look at the watch list real quick. Bitcoin up at to 29,840 right now, at 5% today. Things are getting volatile. It's getting volatile. Uh, also, keep in mind, Litecoin, August, the Litecoin halving. We're about four months out or three months out. It's going to be a Litecoin summer pretty soon here. It's kind of died down as far as the talking about Litecoin, but 
I believe it's going to be a Litecoin summer. We'll see a lead up into that and we're going to be on it. So yeah, market's all in green today. Uh, we're seeing that uh, meme coins are doing well. Uh, the whole market's honestly doing well. If we're looking at AI, big data, it's kind of down a little bit. Render's been killing it, crushing it. I mean, we made that call, I think it was around $1.80 or two bucks. It's at like $2.40. And we could be getting ready to gear up even more. I think we're at the 786. So if we take this high down to this low, bang, we're at the 786. But the candles, the bodies of the candles are getting smaller though. So maybe uh, we could be rolling over here short term, but you could put this trend line on it. And if it breaks this trend line, likely we'll roll over and we probably have to hold that $2.25 level for continued upside, or we may come back down, hit the 786 from this low to this high back down at $1.88. That's what I'm watching. Uh, hopefully this all makes sense. I, I think I do a decent job at kind of simplifying everything and showing you what you guys should be looking for. So uh, hopefully during the month of May, you guys are able to navigate it straight. And then uh, we'll be back. We'll be back with some brand new stuff that will make everybody's lives easier as far as tracking these markets. Crypto is crazy and it's 24 seven. You can't miss a beat and I need to get some sleep. So these trading bots and this automation of the software and analysis bots and trading bots, like how it can analyze the market for us, send us a notification and trade for us. I mean, that's like the holy grail as far as trading goes. We want more time and more profits. We don't want to spend more time staring at the charts. And then that will cause maybe more mistakes because you're overanalyzing and the, you know, the human aspect and the emotion to it. So we're about to automate everything. It's going to be, it's going to be a Stargate summer and a Litecoin summer. So I'm excited for it. I hope you guys are too. Join the discord links in the bio and I'll see you in the next video.